Hello and welcome to English with Tom, English Prom pronunciation with Tom. Uh, today, again, we are looking at intonation. So rising and falling intonation. This time we're looking more at um, how intonation shows people's mood or feelings, emotions. Um, let's have a look. So intonation can help you understand how a person feels and show others how you feel. So sadness, happiness, excitement, doubt, disagreement, all these feelings and emotions can be understood through rising and falling intonation. So um, it's not just about agreeing and disagreeing like we looked at last time, but also you can really show somebody's feelings and you can show other people how you feel with the use of intonation. Quick review. So rising intonation is for questions. Where do you study? Uh, for lists, I carry notepads, pens, textbooks, and also if you haven't finished. My university, blah, blah, blah. Uh, following intonation, quick review, is for statements, things that are true. The school bus comes at four. Do your homework, commands. And then the end of a sentence or the end of a list. Da-da-da, 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 and the calculator. My university is good, for example. And do you remember the rise, fall, rise? Hmm. Hmm, what was that for? Okay, that was for showing some kind of disagreement, maybe full 100% disagreement or a little bit of disagreement. For example, history is interesting. Yeah, I think that's true, but I like English, for example. So that was a quick review. Let's think about emotions, feelings, mood, and intonation. So using intonation can show others how you feel and help them better understand you. What do you guys think? A rising intonation, what kind of feeling or mood does that show? Have a think. Any ideas? Okay, so a rising intonation, uh, can show that you're happy or surprised, that you're interested, excited, shows your enthusiasm. So, uh-huh, even just that, uh-huh, show you're listening and it goes up, shows you're interested. Really? That shows surprise, that you're happy. So, yeah, rising intonation, usually for positive feelings, positive emotions. So, maybe easy, what do you think about falling intonation? What kind of feelings or moods does that show? Okay, it can show that you're sad about what you hear, that you're bored, uh, disappointed about something, or it can kind of show no enthusiasm, that you don't care about something. So, generally negative emotions. And then the rise, fall, rise intonation. Uh, as we said before, it shows disagreement, but it can also show doubt, hmm. suspicion, a policeman, really, uh, disagreement, or it can also so show shock. Okay, examples. Okay, here are some reactions that you might hear or say. Uh, what do you think? Do, will this have a rising intonation or a falling intonation or a disagreement? Rise, fall, rise. Yeah. So generally, these are going to have a rising intonation. Repeat after me. Awesome. Awesome. That sounds great. That sounds great. You're kidding. You're kidding. Amazing, for example. Okay, again, are these rising or falling? 
yeah, I'm sure you can figure it out. Again, usually a rising intonation. That's good. Good for you. That's nice. Okay. Okay, how about this one? Hmm, here becomes a bit tricky. Okay, these are all rising, but it can be different. But let's just practice this first. Really? No way. Wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, but this is for the emoji. Uh, looks negative, but this is if it's a positive thing. Really? Oh, yeah. But it could be, hmm, might be different. We will practice that in a minute. And then how about this one? Okay, sad emoji, sad face. Uh, so probably, hmm, yes, falling intonation. Ah, that's too bad. Oh no, that's terrible. Sorry to hear that. So yeah, you can see how a falling intonation can really show. Oh, sorry to hear that. It shows your, you feel sad, you feel for the other person. Sympathy, empathy, that kind of thing. So let's have a practice of those kind of reactions. I will read a sentence and then you react. So for example, um, I am 18 years old. Am I 18 years old? Maybe not. So really? Okay, that shows really, really. Maybe you don't believe me. Uh, so let's practice. Guess what? I just won the lottery. What's your reaction? Is it a rising intonation, falling intonation? Guess what? I just won the lottery. Your reaction? Okay, if you're surprised, you say, oh, the lottery goes up. Or you're excited, oh my gosh. Or if you don't believe me, suspicious, Really? There you go. Let's try again. Next. Oh, sorry, I can't come. I'm sick. Sorry, I can't come. I'm sick. What's your reaction? Rising, falling, rise, fall, rise intonation. So you could, if you feel sad, oh no. If you have sympathy, oh, that's too bad. Or it could be a kind of shock and surprise sadness. Oh, really? So you can see how even if you feel bad, you can still go up if it's a surprise. Oh, really? It's all about how you say it. Next. Okay, I'm a schoolboy. Sorry, Mr. Smith, I forgot my homework. Sorry, Mr. Smith, I forgot my homework. Reaction. What's your reaction? You are Mr. Smith. What do you think? Surprised? Again? Disappointed? That's too bad. Or if Miss, maybe Mr. Smith doesn't believe you, forgot, hmm, forgot. So as you can see, um, you can really show your feelings and your mood, your emotion with rising and falling intonation. Have a practice with a partner. Make some sentences like this and read it to your partner. Partner, react with a rising intonation or falling intonation. Okay, last one. I'm gonna show you how the same sentence can have three different intonations. Listen carefully. Is it rising, falling or rise, fall, rise? It was quite good. It was quite good. Okay, what does, what does that intonation show? What emotion? Any idea?
Yeah, it was a rising intonation and it shows surprise. It was quite good. Hmm. Okay, how about the next one? It was quite good. It was quite good. Is it rising, falling, rise, fall, rise? Yeah, it was a rise, fall, rise. So like we said in the last intonation video, probably there is some disagreement or a negative is coming. It was quite good, but it was very expensive. It was quite good, but my soup was cold, for example. Last one. It was quite good. It was quite good. Okay. Rising, falling. Okay, that was a falling intonation. It was quite good. Okay, if I ask somebody, oh, how was the movie? It was quite good. I would be a little bit worried. I'd think, what's wrong? There's no enthusiasm. There's no feeling there. Are they okay? So again, having just a falling intonation or kind of a flat intonation can sometimes show there's something wrong with the person. How was the movie? It was quite good. So there you go. Okay, that's it for today. Just a quick video to add to our last video on intonation. So yes, please like the video, comment, share with your classmates, share with your friends. If there's something you want to practice, then leave in the comments and me, I can make a video about that. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thanks for listening to English with Tom. See you next time. Bye-bye.